Hey guys, so Kyle here for part two of the Getting Started with Zcam video series. Uh, if you missed the first one, these videos are basically designed just to give you a really quick and brief uh, understanding of the look and feel of these cameras, how they function, how they operate, uh, and how to work with the footage. So in the first video, I covered the button layouts, uh, the menu systems, uh, and just ran through uh, what that looks like and kind of a general feel for how to use the camera. What we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna load in some of the footage that I shot on the F6 from my first shoot day with it. Uh, I'm gonna give you an idea of what that looks like, show you uh, where you can find conversion LUTs off of Zcam's website, and then also show you how I grade the footage uh, using Zcam's plugin tool for Premiere. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do before we load up any footage is we're gonna go to Zcam's website. And if you go to support and you go to LUT, uh, under here you can download the most current uh, Zcam LUT package. And then you can also download the uh, Zcam color plugin uh, for Premiere, which I mentioned, and I'll show you how that works. Uh, so I have both of these already. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those up. So I have the Zcam LUTs right here. This is the folder that they would have come in. And you'll see that there is exposure default and then they give you uh, LUTs for overexposure and underexposure. So the minus one, minus two, minus three, and then plus one, plus two, plus three. So these are obviously for underexposed footage by one stop, two stops or three. And then this is for footage that's overexposed that you need to pull down. So under each folder, there's all the same LUTs, but they are just exposure adjusted. So there are quite a few. Um, if you look under here for all these different workflows, so there is ASUS, um, Rec 709, Rec 2020, uh, Hyperlog Gamma, these sRGBs, and then there's also Neutral, uh, Neutral Cool, um, Film Looks. So they give you quite a few options. Personally, I am a fan of simplicity, uh, so I would just like one or two LUTs uh, as a conversion LUT to roll with, but uh, that being said, Zcam's color plugin that I'm gonna show you does work pretty nice and kind of takes the confusion out of things a little bit. But if you want to download these LUTs, that is where you would get them, and then same with the color correction plugin tool. But let's go ahead and load up some footage. Okay, so this is the project here for the short film that I started, short documentary I'm doing, but uh, I'll load some of this footage in and we can take a look at it really quick. I do have some I've quickly graded, but let's just start by looking at some of the um, ungraded footage as it is. So this was all shot on the F6 at uh, Cinema 4K 241 Apple ProRes. A lot of it was at 60 frames, some of it was 20, but it was all shot in Z-Log at 5600 Kelvin. So I'll show you what that footage looks like so you can get a feel for it. Um, let's see here, what's a good one to start with? Let's go with this clip here. So this is just Rob Martin from Thack Ironworks and this is him working away. Really cool shop here. This is all at 60 frames. Okay, so let's pull that in to our timeline. Go down here. So this is obviously a pretty um, contrasty scene, so really deep shadows. But what we will do is we're gonna go to effects, uh, video effects, and then at the very bottom we have Zcam, and this is Zlog color. So this is the plugin that I was talking about. We're gonna drop it on our footage. And right away it's gonna go, um, so we have our input color space, so Zlog 2, which is what I shot in. And then we have our output color space all the way down here, ZRGP AX2. That's the default that the plugin will be set to. And that's also what I've been told is the recommended space for kind of a Rec 709 conversion. I like how it looks. So that's what I've stuck with. Um, so these adjustments are all pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it is actually quite nice because obviously we aren't working with raw footage here, but it gives you kind of a, uh, the feel of a, a raw conversion panel for say if you were shooting on a, a red or black magic or something like that. So um, we have these sliders here and basically you can adjust your exposure, uh, which is nice. Uh, temperature, tint, all sorts of different adjustments here. 
And then there is this saturation correction. And this is something that I would like to learn more about because I find you almost always have to use it. So we'll check it on. That looks better for me. Whenever this saturation correction isn't checked off, I find the footage, uh, the colors are a little intense and look oversaturated. Um, so I'm finding I have to use that quite a bit. Um, I would, again, I love simplicity, so I would love to see this not exist. If saturation needs to be corrected for some reason, it would be awesome if it was just corrected and you didn't have to decide if you wanted it corrected or not. But I mean, just by using this plug and that it's, gives you a pretty nice look right away and it's not too harsh either. That's what I like about it. So sometimes with uh, Rec 709 conversion LUTs, uh, I find that they can be really contrasty and they can just kind of degrade your image. Um, but I'm finding this uh, Z-Log Color plugin, it does quite a nice job. Um, so we'll look maybe at one more clip, see if we can find something a little different. Um, so kind of here's a wide, a wider shot of Rob sitting at this table. Still pretty contrasty. Again, 60 frames, this is all handheld. Uh, probably 35 mil, I'm thinking, for focal length. Uh, let's just go and we'll copy and paste this one right on. And then I think I will have to just, uh, I think I had this exposure adjusted a little bit on the previous one. Yeah, so that's kind of where uh, it sits. So obviously it's not uh, finalized by any means, but for me, it's a really nice starting point when working with this footage. And, you know, the interesting thing is I went into this shoot and it was my first time working with this camera. And I didn't have a lot of prep time. Uh, so usually when I'm shooting with my black magic, I'm using false color to uh, expose for skin. I'm really used to the, how the false color uh, is mapped out on the black magic cameras, but I, I didn't have enough time to research that for um, the Z cam. So really I was just uh, exposing by eye using my monitor. Uh, and I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how this footage turned out doing that. And also uh, just using this Z log color plugin, uh, it's a nice starting point and the colors science seems nice and there's also no strange uh, like color shifts or anything like that uh, it's just a really nice base to start grading from so some of the stuff I have down here uh, I used the Z log color plugin and then I just did a little bit of a look afterwards uh, kind of manually and personally I'm really really happy uh, with how the footage looks just how easy it was to get it to a point that I was happy with. So again, minimal adjustments on this stuff. And uh, you know, that's what excites me a lot about this camera is just being able to, you know, get your footage to a point that you're happy with relatively easy. And you aren't messing around for too long doing a million different things and correcting color casts and curves and this and that. So this camera just has a really nice look. So I hope these videos help give you a little bit of a better feel for things, what it's like to work with one of these cameras, what the footage looks like, what the menu systems are like. I know for me personally, even though my experience is pretty limited with them and I've just used the F6 on the one shoot so far, I really like what Zcam's doing. I like the look of the footage. I like the menu systems. I like the size. Uh, there's just a lot of things that are attractive about this camera and the other models in the Zcam lineup. So I hope that this series helps you out a little bit if you are interested in these cameras and have plans to use them on a future shoot.